Hello, Nyoko here, and I'm the creator of the fangan project, The Spare Emporium, which, for anyone who doesn't know, is a fan-made story in the format of the Danganronpa games. It's a comic on Instagram that's in my normal art style. Um, this drawing will be in the Danganronpa art style, or at least an attempt. I've never done the Danganronpa art style on this program, but the comic is currently in the daily life of Chapter 2, if you're interested in reading it. Um, two people are dead so far, <laughs> and if you don't know Danganronpa, you're going to be concerned. Um, I'll have it linked below, and yesterday, March 4th, was the third anniversary of when I first started this back on the Danganronpa Amino. I'm not on there anymore, it's now on Instagram. Um, admittedly, when I started it, I was young, so I took a very long break, but I'm currently back in the swing of things, and I love seeing people enjoy my work, you guys are awesome. I love all the support you guys have. So I made this little celebratory anniversary picture of all the characters in my story and attempted to emulate the Danganronpa style. So for the rest of this video, I'm basically going to talk about each character as I drew them and include some stuff that you fans have said about each of them. This video will be spoiler free. So my main point of this video is that new people can watch it and maybe get attracted to my comic and old people can watch it and I can appreciate you guys. <laughs> so enjoy. <laughs> also, if any of the audio is weird, it's because I just moved, I'm in a new place, things are kind of hectic right now and yeah. <laughs> so I actually live streamed or at least attempted to um, on my Danganronpa Instagram, the Despair Emporium comic Instagram, um, part of the sketching of this. And while doing that, I realized I completely forgot one of my characters. Good on me. So you may have noticed that I quickly added in another character in that sketching, but you know, life goes on. Also, if I mispronounce any of my own characters' names, I am sorry. They, they're all Japanese because, you know, Danganronpa, so I gave them Japanese names I looked up the meanings for and stuff. But if I mispronounce any of them... Uh, I apologize. I should know how to pronounce my own characters, but you know. <laughs> but seriously, um, thank you guys for all the support for everyone who reads it. I really enjoy seeing people just enjoying my content. Like, some of you guys even make fan art. Like, that's amazing. I love you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, so I included Raja, who is the snake that's in this um, drawing. Um... If you read the comic, you know that there's more than one animal in it. Uh, I was not going to draw that many animals in, the, in, this, uh, in this artwork. <laughs> I kind of just included Raja because um, I needed something to help frame it. <laughs> Though in the end, the picture kind of ended up heavy on one side. But you know, we don't talk about that. It's fine. It's fine. We don't talk about that. <laughs> and it looks like we started on the first character. So this is Yoshio Matsu, and he is my ultimate journalist, the protagonist of this story. You can tell because of his ahoge. <laughs> He's very inquisitive, and he carries around a journal, and I included the journal to basically give an excuse to, like, comic things, like, then we walked over to the meeting room thing, you know, like, the things in comics that say that, because... My excuse is that it's future logs in his journal. <laughs> so, you know. Moving on to things you guys said about Yoshio. Gonna be general with it, but you guys said that. Some of you guys said that he was one of your favorites. Some of you guys said that he was very cute. Um, you said he was a nice protagonist and that you liked his cloud hair. <laughs> Some of you said that they liked that he was smart. <laughs> I just... Now, a lot of people said a lot of things about Yoshio, which is uh, maybe a little bit something I should work on. Maybe I should give him some more stuff to shine on. A lot of people said that they loved his dog. <laughs> he has a dog named Mo he has a dog named Mochi, and uh, people um, people love his dog. <laughs> uh, it go blep. <laughs> Most of the comments about Yoshio was just about Mochi. <laughs> Uh, poor Yoshio. Anyway. My personal thoughts on Yoshio is that I love him, but I love basically all my characters, even the problematic ones, even though I understand they are problematic. They're, they're my little trash babies. I made them. 
But yeah, um, Yoshio is, uh, he's a good boy. He's just really nice, very inquisitive, keeps his eye on the ball, trying to figure out how to get out of here, um, obsessed with writing things down, but you know, that's good. He keeps track of what's going on in places. <laughs> uh, he hasn't shined too much, but I'm trying to make him shine. He will have some more, some more big plot points. Not to um, spoil anything, but you know he's he's gonna go through some stuff. All of them will. <laughs> but yeah, moving on from Yoshio, we are now moving on to Yukiko Amaya. She's my ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark of this game. Some of you guys have started figure um, trying to like figure out her talent, by the way, and I love seeing guesses. <laughs> she is very standoffish. Um, she doesn't really talk to people a lot. She. A lot of people say that she's kind of suspicious, but also she's one of the free people that have their free times out. So a lot of people um, want to protect her for, like, ever because they read her free times, which, by the way, you should read her free times if you didn't. <laughs> Most of her comments that people said were saying that she's edgy, <laughs> that she shops at Hot Topic. Someone said it's not a phage gin, so I'm assuming that they're referring to Kyoko. <laughs> Um, and then other comments were just, sweet baby, protect her, and they were loving the fact that she is a lesbian, because, you know, gotta get that sweet women loving women, that's adorable. Uh, people are already starting to ship her with certain people, which, by the way, if you guys ship anyone with anyone, um, I, I, I am so for any of that, just m keep in mind the character's sexualities. <laughs> But yeah, I really love Yukiko. She was the first character for this whole project that I designed, so I have a soft spot for her. <laughs> Heck, I studied flower meanings for like two hours one time because I was making an art piece that had her and a bunch of flowers. You know, that just shows you that I love her. <laughs> Though I will say on an art aspect, I understand that her colors are super dark, and I've recently been very I've recently been struggling with that a bit in the comic. So I might adjust her colors very slightly, just to make it easier to make the comic. But you know, uh, edgy, uh, edgy colors, hard to draw. <laughs> and moving on to the next character, Saki Aguchi. She is my ultimate lucky student of the game, because you know, uh, most Danganronpa games and fangins tend to have a lucky student, so here's mine. I made her a girl because Nagito and... Makoto, the two ones that are in canon, are boys. I gave her a green hoodie since, you know, Makoto and Nagita still have, like, a, some sort of green hoodie. I just made hers a lot brighter. Um, yeah, I kind of designed her based on, like, a Lucky Clover and stuff, and a lot of people said that they really loved her, and they feel like she was, um, she's underrated. And, you know... <laughs> They also said that she loves her hair, which, thank you, I'm bad at designing stuff, so I, I'm, I'm very happy you guys enjoy her hair. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot of people said that she's just soft, and they love the little, like, friendship between her and Okimi. And some of you said that you shipped that. <laughs> some of you guys said you were looking forward to her free time events, which will be coming out at the end of Chapter 2. I release all my free time events at the end of chapters, and I release free characters. So yeah. Um, some of you guys were just really excited about Saki in general, and you know. <laughs> I personally really like Saki, but again, I like all my characters. Um, I gave her a little nervous um, thing she does because she gets anxious, and I, I never really saw anyone comment on it. But you know, she likes to hug her legs, so she like sits with like her legs on the chair and she hugs them whenever she's nervous. <laughs> it's just the thing she does, which is... One of the reasons why I gave her uh, leggings underneath her skirt, but you know. <laughs> oh boy, is June next? <laughs> okay, so moving on to the next character, June Inazumi. I Inazumi? In Remember when I said I don't know how to pronounce my own character's names? <laughs> Th this is why. Uh, anyway, uh, oh boy, this character... So, I'm not even gonna, like, hide it. He's basically an antagonist, antagonistic character. So, you know, uh, a lot of people hate him. <laughs> Most of the comments about him were negative and that they were wishing, uh, death. <laughs> but, you know, that's kind of normal in this. Um, 
just things like that. And he has just gained a lot of hate so far. And, you know, <laughs> sometimes it just be like that. He's little, little, little annoying boy. Um, some people have pointed out that he basically is doing what he believes is the right thing. And he's very, being on track in this, like, murder thing. He's just very, very insensitive. So, you know... <laughs> We'll see if any of your guys' opinion change or get worse throughout the story. You know, <laughs> uh, when I made June, I knew that people would hate him, and that's kind of the reason I made him. <laughs> so, you know, I've heard people call him a Biakia Kinney and a um, Oma Kinney. Um, I just like to say right here, it's okay if you compare things, but, like, he's his own character. He's not He's not any of those two people. Me I kind of want you guys to judge my characters just on how they, like, were made, you know, on their own. <laughs> I just realized I never said he was the ultimate debater, but, you know, that's what he is. Okay, moving on. <laughs> this next character is Okimi Otaki, and she is the ultimate choreographer. And a lot of people say that she's very, like, well, not a lot of people. She just is very, like, headstrong sometimes. She's very friendly, but also quick to anger um, she stands up for the people that she cares about, and she gets very defensive on certain things. So, you know. <laughs> very confrontational, but also, you know, friendly. It's a little contradictory, but if you, if you read the story, you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but moving on, uh, people said that they love her. Um, basically, when I asked your guys' opinions on most of these characters, most of the opinions were just favorite, nice character, and then some of you guys misunderstood the question, and they thought that we should ask the characters questions. But anyway, <laughs> people said they like her. Um, they like the fact that on her little, like, character sheet, um, her likes are dogs. <laughs> so, you know, they said that if she likes dogs, then she can't be a bad person. <laughs> uh, they said they love her little punk aesthetic, and things like that. <laughs> there was another comment that someone left where they mentioned that they fear that her hot-headedness might get her in trouble. And they also say that her and June might get some, like, plot point angriness. And I love hearing headcanons. I'm not going to tell you if you guys are right or not, but I love listening. <laughs> I'll probably always respond with very interesting, or that's an interesting theory. Because I don't want to give anything away, but I do love hearing them all. <laughs> so if you guys have any theories and you haven't actually commented them, Go ahead and comment them. Let me know. I want to hear them all. <laughs> and moving on to the next character, we have Kiara Nomura. Um, she is half Indian, half Japanese, and she is a big fan favorite. Um, people call her Snake Queen. She is the ultimate snake tamer. And I will say there's a different... There's a reason why I don't just call it a snake charmer. She does not like that term. But also don't Google that because there's a... <laughs> urban Dictionary. <laughs> That's not what her talent is, guys. <laughs> but yeah, she's um, Snake Queen. People love her. She is she is a big fan favorite. She has always been a fan favorite. Um, ever since back on Amino. Um, and yeah, people just, just love the Snake Queen. Raja, the snake that's in this picture, is her snake. <laughs> but yeah, basically all the comments were saying that they love her and they, they think she's very pretty and she's majestic and they said that they like her design and just things like that. Um, people were also saying that they believe that she might end up being Yoshio's right-hand person. You know, like the Chiaki, the Kyoko of the game, you know, the right-hand girl. And they believe that June will then be the antagonist, and someone said that would be a pretty cool trio. So, you know, <laughs> we'll see if she ends up being, like, a right-hand person. She did help in the first trial, I will say that much. And also, um... <laughs> If you've seen my reasons why I created the characters, you can see why uh, under one of the reasons I made her was just bisexual distress back when I was in high school. So, you know, <laughs> pretty snake lady. And moving on to the next character, we have Ryu Tatsuya. And uh, I'm just going to be up front. He's my, one of my two favorites. The other one was Yukiko. Um, I love writing him. He's very snarky. He's also the ultimate makeup artist. Um... I both say that the makeup he's wearing probably isn't the best, but you know, simplistic tongue and rompa style, and also I don't know makeup. But yeah, um, people were saying that, 
Well, in general, um, first I should start with what he's like. He's snarky, uh, sarcastic at times, you know, just boy that talks back a lot and is edgy. I, I, I love him. <laughs> People were saying that they love, um, they love the fact that he has a standardly girl talent, like he has a makeup artist and he's a guy. And he does, like, the standard thing you think of makeup, but he also does, like, movie makeup, like, monster effects and stuff. He does, like, all kinds of things. Um, he's another one of the characters that had their free time events out, and people were kind of laughing about how two of the free times that got released were very sad. And then his was like, yo, I set my house on fire when I was, like, five. <laughs> okay, not his house, but his lawn, and that's all I'm gonna say about his, like, free time events. You should read them if you didn't. They're very fun, in my opinion. <laughs> But yeah, people like him. They think he's very snarky. Someone thinks that, because it's been revealed in a Q&A that he has a crush, someone thinks, basically there's two options that people think it might be. Someone thinks it's Okimi and someone thinks it's Miyuki, so we shall see if it's any one of those two. <laughs> he is one of the few hetero heterosexual people, so it can only be a girl. <laughs> and with that, we move on to Takumi Wakuni. <laughs> uh... I personally made his name because it, it, it rolls off the tongue. Takumi Wakuni, because he is the ultimate blogger, so I wanted him to have a trendy-sounding name. Even though I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but you know. <laughs> um, so, not a lot of people had a lot of things to say about this. Which, funnily enough, back on Amino, he was the first meme. <laughs> he had a very, um, very shocked face that turned into a meme, so... <laughs> He's, um, he's kind of like the Kazuichi, the Yasuhiro of this game. He's, um, at the moment, he's not very helpful, and he's very squeamish around blood stuff, and he's, he's kind of not handling the situation well. He's kind of snarky, a little bit annoying, but you know, he's, he's there. Um, when I asked people what they thought about him, they were asking, why he hangs around June so much. People were commenting on that a lot. So, you know, maybe they're friends. <laughs> and moving on, the next character is Fumiko Satoya, the ultimate linguist. And first, I'm just going to start with a lot of the things that people said about her is that she reminded them of Shoma from Danganronpa the Wolf's Game. And can we please stop comparing fangan characters? They're, they're different characters. <laughs> I'm just going to come out with saying that I don't mind if you compare them but please don't say she's a ripoff. Like, I love Danganronpa the Wolf's Game, and also, this came out before it. <laughs> but yeah, um, moving on from that. <laughs> people like her. They say that she's very cute. She's very shy. Um, this is personally my boyfriend's favorite of my characters, so you know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um... All of you fear for, like, any of the characters, and it's really funny because he doesn't know spoilers. So every time I'm asking him, who do you think will die next, he's like, fear. <laughs> he's like, I hope it's not Fumiko. So we'll see if she dies. We'll see if she survives. <laughs> Some people were commenting on the fact that she's a linguist, but she doesn't like talking. Um, that will be explained eventually, maybe in her free time events. But anyway, moving on to Raiden Kazuhaya, the ultimate daredevil. He is an excitable party cannon. Everyone, like, loves him. I can't believe I almost forgot him in the sketch. Um, <laughs> he's just excitable boy. Everyone loves him. He's the type of boy to jump into a pool from a diving board with his clothes still on because he forgot to take them off. <laughs> Everyone just loves him, and very few people don't like him. Someone said that they didn't like him. I don't know if they meant right now or n at first. Because they feared that he might get someone accidentally killed. Because <laughs> he's a little um, reckless. But he's, he's excitable. He's just a um, distracted boy. He, he does a lot of things because he doesn't like standing still. And he gets bored. And, you know, he, he needs to run around and be free. And everyone loves him because he's kind of like an excitable puppy. <laughs> and moving on, we have Daiki Akagawa, the ultimate archer. Now, here's the thing. He was a fan favorite back on Amino, back when I first started this, but when I moved over to Instagram, he doesn't really get a lot of attention here. At least not right now. <laughs> so I thought that was interesting. Most people just said that he was very soft and very nice, and they'd like to see more from him. They said that he's a giant who's very nice. 
And for anyone who doesn't know, he's six foot four. <laughs> so he's very tall. He's he's tree boy. Um, I will say at some point he hit his head on a door and someone... <laughs> I remember back when that happened, someone thought that was suspicious. No, he's just tall. <laughs> he's he's just tall, boy. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next character, Miyuki Mizukawa, the ultimate ice skater. And oh boy, a lot of people had a lot of uh, thoughts about, about Miyuki. Um, first off, I will say what she's like. She's a very bubbly girl who's very flirty. She's very interested in all the boys. And basically, a lot of people were saying that they're suspicious of her, they think she might end up being a Sayaka, or they think that she might end up getting a boyfriend, but, you know, that boyfriend might die and she might have a breakdown. Um, A lot of theories, a lot of thoughts on her. Um, People are very mixed on her. Some people say that she's very cute. Some people think that she's she's sneaky, she's going to be a snake. So we'll see how her character goes. Maybe she just genuinely wants a boyfriend. Maybe she's being manipulative. We'll find out. <laughs> but yeah, it's very divided on on uh, opinions on this character. <laughs> Someone also said that she was relatable because she hates diets and she likes cats. <laughs> and they said they were sorry for disrespecting her. <laughs> and I thought that was very funny. But yeah, people said that she's kind of an airhead. And honestly, kind of, yeah. Moving on, we have Hiroto Nakamine, the ultimate jockey, and this poor boy is so underrated. You guys give him no love, and that's, like, no one, like, commented on him except for, like, one or two people, and they were basically saying, he's underrated, and I don't know why. <laughs> and um, someone said that he's, he's a horse guy, and we need more representation of guys that love horses, and I don't know what it is about him, but you guys just... Just don't care about him. All the characters get birthday Q&As, and they usually get, like, a bunch of questions. He got, like, three of them. (laughs) Um, Whenever I have, like, a question or, like, where you pick characters, he's usually, like, the least one picked. And it's like, why do you guys not like Hirota? What's wrong with him? (laughs) Is it because he's rich and he's a little insensitive? He's trying to be nice. He just doesn't know what's happening. (laughs) Anyway, moving on from Hirota, we have Isamu Gushikin who is the ultimate matchmaker, and oh god, you guys love him. <laughs> he is the... I did a character popularity poll, and he got number one, so that should tell you how much you guys love him. Um, he is the buff character of the game. He is very soft. He is a shipper, basically, and all of you love him, and it's hilarious. I, <laughs> I joke that there's a cult for Isamu, and you guys just love him, and it's I, I love seeing you guys just love a character so much and it's really cute and I love it and yeah basically um (laughs) every time he gets mentioned I get like (laughs) I get comments or messages being like if you kill him I will riot or like things like that and so you know (laughs) um yeah you guys love him he's the favorite character in this fangan from what I can tell with the polls and stuff and yeah (laughs) And next up is Choko Fukuhara, who is the ultimate origamist. And a lot of people said that you love her too. You said that she was very sweet and she's very nice and she's just a lot of cute. She's very cute. You guys said that you like her design and she's very like... Basically, most of the comments were saying that she's very cute and that you love her. And (laughs) whenever she gets mentioned, everyone like gets like, Choco, we love her, like, things like that, and, you know, I believe her birthday is actually the next one coming up, so look forward to her birthday Q&A, guys, <laughs> but yeah, she's, she's a fan favorite, she's, she's Choco, <laughs> I love her too, but her design is very hard to draw, <laughs> uh, most of my designs are very simplistic, because it's a comic, Like, for actual Danganronpa games, they would be way more complicated than what they are. But, you know, it's a comic, so I had to simplify some things. And lastly, we have Kasumi Hamasaki. And she is the ultimate prankster. And everyone, um, everyone pretty much loves her, too. She actually got second on that character popularity poll thing. Everyone thinks that she's just so silly, and she's so cute. She's my character that's in a completely different style than everyone else. And every Danganronpa game, they have at least one of them. (laughs) 
And someone said that she would kin anyone. She would kin Pinkie Pie. And I completely agree. She's silly. She's goofy. She's adorable. <laughs> uh, she's just little jester baby. Like, not actually, but you know, little jester baby. Yoshi, can you not make noise? And that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching this video. And thank you all for everyone who supports my comic. And I appreciate you all. If you like this video, you can hit subscribe and like, and you know, watch my other videos. And if you just want to check out the comic, um, I'll have it linked down below. And thank you all for watching. Bye. Peace.